know, I had to grow up at a, at a, at a you know, faster pace, but I had my, my teammates, and uh, thankfully I had some good players, some good people on and off the field around me. They really helped me on and off the field as well. Tell okay. us your story. You have been on your own uh, in the FC Dallas Academy since you were 15 years old. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, when I was about... When I was about 14 and a half, uh, some SC Dallas scouts came to El Paso to look for some players for their academy. And we had already had a, a player from El Paso, so that was kind of the tie playing in their academy. And his name is Mikey Ambrose when I was in uh, Inter Miami, so he was a big, big deal, to, big help for us to get there. But they came and then uh, half a year later, um, they told me that they wanted me to try to, to go down and live in Dallas, play for their academy system and, you know, with the hopefully one day uh, signing a first team contract. So. Yeah, it was always a, a big dream of mine to go there, live there, and just work my way up the rankings. Yeah, as a 15-year-old, um, you're not old enough to hardly do anything, <laughs> right? you know, and, and here you are having to really grow up probably before most of us are ready. What was that experience like? Yeah, it was a, it was a good experience. I was busy a lot with soccer in school. I think my family and uh, you know my faith kind of helped me um, get through those difficult times, but um, I think the hardest part is just being away from the family so much and you know, they guided me how to grow up on my own, you know, just do simple things that you know, I had to grow up at a, at a, at a you know, faster pace, but I had my, my teammates and uh, thankfully I had some good players, some good people on and off the field around me. They really helped me on and off the field as well, so it was, it was good. Yeah, and then you went even further away from home to the College of Charleston mm -hmm. uh, and played there for four years. So tell me about the transition from going um, into the academy system, into, into the collegiate level. Yeah, it was good. They um, they received me with a, with a lot of love. You know, they were always there for me. They knew that, um, you know, I had, a, you know, hopefully big ambitions to, to keep playing. And I, I trust in them to, to help me get ready for the next level. And thankfully with them help, with their help, I was able to, you know, take my game to the next level. And I gave a lot of support to College Charleston, the coaches, Coach Lundy. Coach Keith, Coach Tam, everyone that has been part of the coaching staff, Coach Jamie, they really, really pushed me to be the best player that I could. Yeah, they certainly uh, pushed you to a new level because you came back home, signed your first professional contract with North Texas mm -hmm. FC. You were actually a member of the 2019 League One champion team last yes. year, <laughs> and now here you are. So we are actually meeting them for the first and only time mm -hmm. this season. What's been going through your head this week? No, it's a, it's a good. It's a, it's a good feeling, you know, it's always good to reconnect with uh, some of the good coaches, you know, good players, that, good friends that I have more than anything, but at the end of the day, both, both of us are on the, on the mission for a trophy, and once we step on the, on the field, it's, it's game on. Uh, we're not going to make it easy for them, and I know they're not going to make it easy for us, so, you know, we'll enjoy the, the time before and after, but once we step between those lines, it's, it's game on, you know. Uh, everyone's everyone's going for those three points this weekend. A game this big. <laughs> what is your message to the fans of the Greenville Triumph? Oh yeah, our fans. Oh, we lo I love the fans. You know, it's it's awesome coming and uh, playing in front of them now. They're they're able to be here. So you know, the message is you know just just keep being yourselves. You know, we we love everyone. You guys coming and and um, you know supporting us throughout this journey and hopefully we'll we'll be able to get those three points for y'all.